Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study some graphing. And our first example is where we are given a rule. This rule relates y and x, the y and x coordinates of the points. The rule says that y is found by 3 minus x. Okay. And in this table, we will have x and y values. And each one of these will be one point. See? The pair of x and y, the pair of those two numbers, is going to be one point that we can plot here in the coordinate plane. But first we need to calculate all these y values here using this rule. Okay? So there's some negative numbers, maybe it looks a little difficult, but you can start, for example, here. If x is 0, then what is y? You use this rule, put 0 in place of x. So we get 3 minus 0. How much is that? It is 3. And then if x is 1, put 1 here. 3 minus 1 is 2. Then 2, put 2 here. 3 minus 2, y will be 1. And then if x is 3, then y will be 0. Okay? You notice here a pattern. 3, 2, 1, 0. It's going by 1s, going down. How about 4? 3 minus 4. Now 3 minus 4 is negative 1, right? And here's negative 2. See, the pattern continues. The pattern will continue this way too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? 4, 5, and 6. Let me just try it with the rule too. 4x equals negative 3. If I put negative 3 here in place of x, I get 3 minus negative 3. That's the double minus then. Double negative. That turns into a plus sign. There's a shortcut about that, right? You remember that? So it becomes 3 plus 3 equals 6. Now we're ready to plot these points, okay? So remember, each number pair is one point. Its coordinates are given. So let's start with x is minus 3. I go here, 1, 2, 3. I go to negative 3 in the x-axis, and then y is 6. So I go 6 units up, okay? It's over here. The next point is x is negative 2. And y is 5, just one less. And then x is negative 1, and y is 4. And then x is 0, y is 3. x is 1, y is 2. And they make a nice pattern here, as you can see. Okay, they make a linear pattern. A linear pattern because they look like they are on a line, okay? The word linear comes from the word line. And as you can see, we could continue the pattern, of course, this way and this way. Now let's try another one. The rule is y equals 2x minus 1. Note, 2x means 2 times x. The multiplication sign is not there. It's not written in algebra between a number and a letter. So let's start out, for example, with... When x is 4, so we get 2 times 4, that's 8, minus 1, that's 7. Then over here, x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. Then 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Then x is 1, we get 2 times 1, that's 2, minus 1 is 1. Then if x is 0, we get 0 minus 1. That's negative 1. Then we get negative numbers. Now, if you are not confident as to how to calculate 2 times a negative number, then you can just look at the pattern here in the y values and continue it that way, which is very easy. But let us look at a few examples anyway. If x is negative 1, 2 times negative 1, or double negative 1 is negative 2. And then you subtract 1, you get more into the negatives, so it is negative 3. And similarly for these, but you can just continue the pattern. There's the pattern of odd numbers, or there's always a difference of 2, okay? 2, 2, 2, 2 steps every time. Now we're ready to plot the points. x equals negative 5, y equals negative 11. I know that won't fit on my grid at all. Neither will this point, negative 4, negative 9. Let me see this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that one is the first one we can plot here. Negative 3. 
negative 3 here and negative 7 all the way down here. And then negative 2, negative 5 goes 2 up y ways. Negative 1, negative 3. 0 minus 1, 1, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, it's again a linear pattern going in a line like that. Over here, we are given the rule in a little bit different manner. Add 2. In the x values, we add 2 each time, starting at negative 9. And in, in the y values, we subtract 3 each time, starting at 30. So I'll just take minus 9 or negative 9 and add 2. So that is negative 7. Add 2 more, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 2 more, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, like that. Then in the y values, I subtract 3 each time. So it gets to be 10, then 7, then 4, then 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, then negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, negative 14. Again, some of those points won't fit on my grid here, but we'll do what we can. This won't, this won't. Let's try that. x equals minus 5, and y is 7 x is minus 3 and y is 4, minus 1, 1, x is minus 1 and y is 1, x is 1, y is minus 2, x is 3, y is minus 5. That's all I can put there, but you can see the general idea, okay? It's a linear pattern. Now lastly, this table here is for the points that are already marked here, these dark red points. We will now find their coordinates and write them here, then figure out what is the rule that is there for x-coordinates and y-coordinates. Okay? So for example, this point I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's negative 10 for the x. And then y is this one here, negative 4. And then this one, it is 2 more in x values, so it's negative 8. And y values is negative 3. Then over here, again, it, is, it moves 2 steps in the x values, so it is negative 6. And the y values, it is negative 2. Now I can already see the pattern, how it will go, okay? Here in x's I add 2 every time. In the y's I just add 1 every time. Like that. Okay, let's write here, this was add 2, this was add 1. I want to show you also how this is seen in the actual graph. This add 1, add 2 thingy, okay? When I start here, and I go to the next point, I will always move two steps this way and one up, right? Then I move two steps this way and one up. Okay? Two steps this way corresponds to add two in the x values, in the direction of the x axis. And then up one corresponds to adding one for the y values. Let's check this one too. Okay, add 2, subtract 3. Over here, if I add 2, I go 2 units this way, right? Subtract 3 means going down 3 units. Okay, like that. Add 2 and subtract 3. So you would get like a staircase going down or a staircase going up. And that's how all linear patterns in the coordinate grid work. Okay, well done and I hope this was helpful.